everyone. In today's video, I will focus just on a small topic very quickly. The topic is about post-fix expression variation. As you all know that whenever we are representing certain expressions, either they can be represented in the form of post-fix expressions or prefix expressions or maybe in the form of infix expressions. Infix expressions are the one in which we are writing the operator in between the operands. Here A and B, they are operands and plus is the operator. Whenever operator appears in between these two operands, we call it as the infix of the expression. Whenever this appears after the operands, like if I write it like A, B plus, then it will be called as the post-fix expression. Similarly, whenever plus operator appears before that of the operands, then we call it as the prefix expression. So there are times when we are asked to evaluate the post-fix expression which are given to us. So let's see, how do we work with the help of uh, this table? I'll let you know that how do we do it with the help of one example. The example which I have taken here is represented with the help of one ex expression named as P which contains 5, 6, 2, plus multiply 12 as number, 4, division sign and minus. The very first thing which we have to do is we need to scan all the symbols one by one. So first we will scan symbol number, uh, symbol 5, which is also called as a token. And here it can be taken as the operand also. So whenever you come across any operand, we will put it in the scan symbol. And along with that, we have to push it in the stack also. The second symbol that we have is six. It is again the operand. So we will again push it in the stack. I'll write it as five comma six. Then the next one we have got is two. Two is again the operand. So that will also be inserted in the stack. So right now we have got three elements, three operands in the stack. The next thing that we have got is plus sign. So as and when you come across any operator in the stack, what you have to do is you need to remember that all the elements which are present in your stack, the first one is taken as A. A is the top element. B is the second element from the top. So whenever you come across any operator, we need to perform B expression A. It's B operator A. This is not a multiplication sign. This is, it, this can be any operator. If it is plus, we need to perform plus. If it is division, we need to apply division minus, minus and uh, multiply will be treated as multiply. So when you come across this, the B element is six and that this one is your A. So what we need to do now is we need to do six plus two that will give me eight. So whatsoever resultant is, we need to push it back in the stack. So this five comma eight. Similarly, the next uh, one which we come across is multiply. Scan symbol is multiply. So we need to multiply five with that of eight. So that will give me the result as 40. So I'll insert 40 back in the stack. The next element that we have got is operand, it's 12. So I'll take it as 40 comma 12. Similarly, the next thing that we come across is, after 12, I am sorry, after 12, we have got four. So when wherever we come across 12, after 12, we'll insert four. After that, we have a sign of division. So we need to perform 12 divided by four, that will be me. 3. So 40, 3 will be there in the stack. The next operator we have is minus. So we need to do 40 minus 3. That will be me as the 37. So the overall output for this expression is 37. Please make sure that when you are performing B operator A, you have to do B operator A always. This is the key point in it. In case you do it the other way out, like for example, I do it A operator B. In that case, it will give me the wrong output. It will give me 4 divided by 12, that will give me 1 by 3. However, it has to be 3, like you can see here. 
So that is how we solve the post fix expressions with the help of stacks. That's all for today's class. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Take care.